Hey guys, this is Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick unboxing and review for you of this QCY QY11 Bluetooth headphone. So this is the latest version that QCY is releasing. I've been using the other version QY7, QY8, QY9 and uh, now we have this version here. So I have to see how this works. Uh, it's pretty much brand new. I just took the string wrap off it earlier but I have not opened it yet. Uh, here you can see it looks like it's QY11 of Bluetooth 4.1. And then we have here some more information, of course it's in Chinese, so let's just go ahead and open this up and see what comes inside. Uh, first of all, the box is a uh, nice kind of like paper, plastic rubbery kind of feeling, pretty premium feeling. Looks like we have a bunch of documentation and stuff here, let's see what comes in here first. Here we go, we have some, uh, look like ear tips. Micro USB charging cable. We have here the user menu along with another little card. I don't know what that is. User menu is interesting, very different from the other version. And then here's the headphone themselves, the, the bottom of the box. I'm just gonna pull them out right here. And here are the headphones, as you can see. They look pretty nice, feel very light, and look like maybe some of the batteries are in here, maybe. Very soft rubber, everything sleeping feel really nice. And here we have the QCY logo right there, as you can see. Earpiece and going sideways, soft rubber hook right out. Same on this side. And at the bottom of this unit, we have the micro USB charging port right out. Guys, I'll give these a listen for a while and uh, I'll get back to you guys with a little review on it. So, guys, I've been using these QY11 headphones for about two weeks now, and so far, my experience with these has been pretty good. These headphones are really comfortable to wear, and the little hook here is very soft and it goes around your ears, as you can see here. The earpiece go in at an angle, and I'm using the medium side ear tips here, and it works well for me. This little hook here kind of keep them and support them so they do stay in place. I'm not much of a runner myself, but uh, putting these in my ear and uh, shaking my head around, running around, walking around, they seem to stay in place pretty well and does not fall out. Of course, I wear the right side here and I run this cable behind my ear and just dangle right around your neck. I was able to make phone call and the other party could hear me perfectly fine with no issues. On the inline controller here, as you can see, you have the plus and minus button and the plus and minus button here uh, allow you to change track and change volume while the middle button here is the multi-function button that allows you to turn it on, hold down for pairing and also turn it off using the same button. You can also play and pause when you're connected to your device. Uh, like my iPhone, I can pause the song and resume it using this button right here. I do find that this controller is easy to use because uh, the button here are uh, kind of like you know raise up a little bit while the multi-function button here are like a dimple so you can actually feel it. The inline controller is also very light so this way when you're wearing it and have it behind your neck it's not tugging on your right ear at all which is a very good thing. Uh, as far as the sound quality these headphones has a pretty nice lively response. The bass is impactful and the sound very clean. Uh, there's not much muddiness at all which is very good. The mids on these are slightly emphasized and the vocal is slightly forward so you will hear uh, the, you know the person singing right in front of you and uh, you know that could be bad or good it just depends on how you feel about that. The highs were very clean for the most part but sometimes it does seem like it does get a little bit uh, kind of cloudy and it definitely lack a little bit of resolution so therefore it's not as crispy as I like. Uh, overall dance music, top 40, those kind of music sounds very good when you use power headphone. And also I found jazz, acoustic and rocks also sound very good. Genre like classical did not sound as good because the highs are not as clean as I like them to be. As far as sound isolation, if you put these on, you can still hear the outside. But as soon as you start playing music 30-40%, you're not going to be to hear anything outside. Which is kind of nice, it will isolate the sound for you. On the inverse, these also does not really leak any sound. Uh, someone will have to be literally maybe a few inches from you to hear any fainted sound. But other than that, you can play music loud and they cannot hear you unless you take them out. If it's in your ear, the sound will direct it right into your ear canal and uh, there's not really that much sound leak. Uh, next, I want to talk about battery life. It takes about 3 hours to charge these headphones uh, from dead stop. And uh, after using them in the past two weeks or so, I charged it uh, once when I got it. And then I charged it again recently because it ran out. They are rated for 7 or 8 hours, which is really overrated. Uh, in my experience, I got about 4 to 5 hours listening to music, mostly between kind of like 90, 80, 90% volume. And uh, that kind of give you an idea. Uh, finally, I want to talk about the range on these. Uh, using them for every day, I usually use them at work. And uh, around the cubicle environment, I was able to go over 30 feet and still have good reception. Uh, it started to clip out and stop working at the uh, 50 feet. So, you know, somewhere between 30 to 40 feet, I think you still are pretty good. Uh, it just depends on your interference and your wall. But in an open cubicle environment, that seemed to work pretty well for me. So expect, uh, I would say, around the house here, I get 10 or 15 feet. But in an open environment, 30 to 40 feet.
So if you want to say these are kind of like the upgrade to the QY7, QY8, um, uh, to me they are very different type of headphone. The other headphones are a lot bigger, and they have the batteries are kind of in there. Uh, the batteries and usefulness is also in here. It's definitely a really neat design. Uh, however, the sound quality, you know, to me is not as good as the QY8. The reason I say that is the QY8 seem to have a pretty good range, and uh, the highs on the QY8 sound pretty clean. This does not sound as clean, uh, but I do find that if you are needing this for sport or something like that, this will work a lot better for you. So one thing I did notice was that my unit actually come with uh, kind of like the voice prompt in Chinese and to switch that when you use units it's uh, pretty simple but it's not written anywhere and I, I asked the company so I'm hoping this helped you guys. Just hold out the power button and continue and hold it down until you get into the pairing mode and uh, yeah in the pairing mode the uh, little light will flash and then you just wait don't pair on anything all you have to do is press the power button the multi-function button here two times and it will go from you know Chinese to English and then you can press it again and go back to Chinese but basically after it switch to English you can pair to a device and it will stay in English forever unless you change it again so that's pretty much my quick review of this pair of headphones I hope it helped you in your budget decision if you have any question let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you